Is Litecoin and Bitcoin bull run going to continue? We're going to take a look at that. First, we're going to take a look at Litecoin. Then we're going to take a look at Bitcoin. And then after that, we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin daily chart versus the gold weekly chart that we've been looking at and see where we're at on that. And also, I want to remind you guys um, before we get started that I'm having a, a T-shirt giveaway uh, for having, you know, breaking a thousand subscribers. So I want to give back to the community a little bit. So um, how we're going to do it is just leave your comments in the comment section below. That'll get you entered to win and make sure you're subscribed to the channel also. And then um, Saturday, we're just going to pick a random day. So we don't know which day the, the comment's going to be chosen from. So make sure you comment every day. And we're going to pick a random comment from a random day during this week. And whoever wins, you get to pick your t-shirt. And I'll show you them before we get into the charts. Um, and you can pick whichever t-shirt and size you want. And uh, yeah, let's get into the charts. One, two, three, go. All right, guys, as always, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or any, any investing in the market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research. This market can be extremely volatile and risky and also keep in mind that this is a speculative market so don't put in more than you're willing to lose um and if you are trading i suggest you do your own charting don't follow people on youtube including me um i just am giving you my opinion so anyways i'm going to show you the t-shirts real quick so you guys um don't forget to leave a comment to be entered to win but we'll start out with uh, we have the uh, this one here, if you can't handle my 10% drops, you don't deserve my 100% gains. I have the whole shirt and Bitcoin. And the next one is going to be Badass. And the uh, last shirt just going to be a great Bitcoin crash 20 minutes ago. So if you guys like the shirts, make sure to leave a comment for your chance to win. And let's get into the charts. This is gonna be a real quick video. I'm running late this morning, so I'm just gonna do a quick run through. Um, like I said, this is Litecoin on the daily. As you can see, we had the, the golden cross over here. I do believe um, we have more upward to go before we have a correction. So again, as usual, I'm still bullish, guys. But let's look at some long-term, or short to midterm targets. Uh, this is, if we measure the bull flag, the flag pull right here with this being a bull flag, which it, it could end up being a longer bull flag. We could play around in this for days, guys. Um, but but if, if this is the flag here that we we're forming now, um, my target on that is 133 area. And another, Another target for that is this trend line here, right around the 109 area. Um, if we were to break straight up within the next day or two, I believe you know we should get at least to that. But we do have to look at the downsides too, and I do have these downside targets, guys, of the 81, 72, and 63, which if we were to break down from here, these would be the targets I'm looking at. And if you if you notice on the daily, they all line up with trends and also the emas um as you can see down here the 55 ema would get us if we were to come down out of this you know within a today or tomorrow um i think the lowest we would go is the 63 the 63 dollar range um but like i said um, we don't know exactly what's going to happen yet but i but i am bullish i do believe we go up and not down but but we have to be ready for both scenarios guys so I like to keep keep an eye on the lower targets too. So let's go into the RSI. And as you can see, uh, we're making lower lows in the RSI, but higher lows in the price. So that's hidden bullish divergence. That's why I believe we have another push up. And if you, you look at where we're at, I have this, this, this rising channel and then this rising wedge. And we've gotten resistance off the top of this rising wedge here. Uh, but I do believe we come back up to at least test this, which would be probably right in that 109 range. And then if we break through to continue in the channel, 
that gets us to the higher targets that I have in here, guys. So that's that's why I'm looking at that in Litecoin. But let's, you know what, I'm going to go back to that and look at the four hour the RSI and the price. As you can see, we have a falling wedge here, which we've broken out of, but we're not getting conviction and, and shooting straight up. But um, I do still believe that we continue on up to at least test the top of this symmetrical wedge we have here in the four hour RSI. And if we look at that in the price, guys, uh, I think I'm lagging here. Sorry about that. There we go. All right, so we look at that in the price, guys. Um, and we'll take a look at these targets again. Like I said, the 109 area would be the, this trend line here. And that's if we were to break break up and out now, that's where I see us going is the 109. And this measured move here is the width of this triangle. And put it up here. If we were to break out and break through this 109, my next target is the 116 area. And then I'm going to show you the measured move off this bull flag here if this was a bull flag and this is the flag pull we measure the flag pull put it up to where we would break out and that gets me up to the 133 area and it probably wouldn't shoot straight up guys we would probably come up here get some resistance come back up here get some resistance and then come up and that would get us to the top of this trend line here and that's why I'm looking at Litecoin. So let's take a look at Bitcoin now and see where we're at on Bitcoin. And then don't forget, guys, to stick around to the end and we're going to compare that Bitcoin and gold chart. And a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand side of the screen. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Smash those likes, guys. Leave your comments to win a T-shirt and just let me know what you think of the video. Appreciate it. And also share if you belong to any groups. I'd appreciate it if you shared the video to get it out there. So, all right, looking at Bitcoin in the daily. And as you can see, I have this trend line here drawn from these two peaks going up. And I believe that's the one we would follow to get these higher targets. Um, that would get us our resistance for the higher targets. And again, guys, um, if you haven't been watching my channel, I do believe the bottom is in for Litecoin and Bitcoin. Um, that's just my opinion, not financial advice, but I really do believe the bottom's in. And that's not to say we shoot straight up, but it is possible. Um, but I, I believe we might have some sideways action, you know, come up and get into these higher highs and then come back down for a correction. And I, I just, I don't see lower lows, guys. Um, and honestly, I, I think the lowest we would go to come back down is going to be um, this is the bottom trend line. So the lowest low I think we would see is maybe the 3,600 and that's pushing it. Um, 44 could be the next low depending on how high we get, um, on this run here. So, and let's look at the RSI. As you can see, the RSI have this rising channel in here, which we've been getting resistance, 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 support, support. And we've come down, the RSI seems to be resetting here. Just like in Litecoin, we're getting lower lows in the RSI, higher lows in the price. So that is hidden bullish divergence. And let's go into the, well, actually let's look at the targets for this real quick. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get this done quick. I gotta get out of here and get to work, so. Um, Let's look at these targets real quick. All right, the first one I have here would be from this trend line here I've drawn from these peaks. I had three touches, four touches. So that's a pretty significant trend line. Um, if we were to break out, I have this bull flag here measured, or the flag pull here measured for this little bull flag, and that would get us up to this 5562 area. And that's my that's my short term target. I do believe we're most likely going to go to this before going down. Um, so I am definitely short-term bullish on Bitcoin also. And 
We do have higher targets to look at, and the first one would be measuring this flagpole all the way to this peak and putting it to where we would break out. Well, actually, I'll show you that in four hours. Sorry, guys. We'll go into those targets in the four hour, but I do want to look at the four hour RSI first before we get into the price. And as you can see, we have a descending wit or a descending triangle here. Um, this is possible that we come up, get resistance, and break down from there. And I'll show you. But I, I do believe, in my opinion, we're going to break up from here, guys. But I will show you both targets that I have. I don't believe, if you, if you see this trend line I have here as one, two, three touches for this line here. If we do break down out of this, you know, I, we might hit that 55.50 area or possibly 55.25, somewhere in this range, and then continue up from there. Um, but I do believe that this will hold here if we come down. Worst case scenario would be the 55 EMA here, which is the 4,900, 49.50 range. But I do believe we're going to pop up from here, guys. Um, and again, this is just my opinion. But I do believe we're going to pop up to this 5550 range somewhere in there. Um, look at the other targets, the more bullish targets here. And we measured the, this from this peak down as the flagpole, which would be right here. And to where we break out, I have these the yellow lines here or this triangle that I'm looking at now ascending triangle and if we were to break out my target on that is the 6300 range which um extremely possible i do believe we may be headed that direction and then i have a longer target using this peak as from the flagpole on the same triangle and that would get us up to the 6500 dollar range guys and if we look across over here these all line up with old resistance that's the $6,500 range and then the $6,300 range we had resistance resistance I do believe we're going to go up because this cluster of resistance here old support new resistance I I believe we're going to end up pushing through that but that uh, that's where I believe we get up to at least the 5,500 here and then we kind of got to look at the data data from there but I do believe we'll have enough momentum to push up through that and again, guys, just my opinion. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking at there. We're going to get into the the gold versus Bitcoin chart. Now, this is gold on the daily. And you can see I drew a dotted line from the peak all-time high to where it broke down at the 6,000 all the way across. And then I did it from the second peak. And, I, and these gray lines are from each peak. And we're going to take a look at that in a second. But I just want to show you the comparison, the gold of and if, if you guys know um, much about markets, markets are based on human emotion. And um, I know a lot of people say manipulation and, and whatnot, but everything's into the charts. You know, everything's already in here, the, the news and, and everything. It's, it's all in the charts. So this looks like it's recreating that, that, that gold chart there. And you see what happened, we had two we had a double bottom on that long-term trend line on the bottom. Same thing in gold, double bottom. And then when we started turning up, it was pretty fierce. And if we look here, right here in 2003, and remember this is a weekly chart in gold, but times are a lot faster now. We have the internet, social media, all that stuff. Everything is a lot faster than it used to be. Um, so I think Bitcoin, in my opinion, is a sped up version of the gold chart. In 2003 here, the ETF got approved for gold. Not saying the ETF's gonna get approved for Bitcoin, but I do think there's gonna be some big news right in this area for Bitcoin. And we're, we're right there now. I do believe we're gonna um, be getting some big news or something's gonna happen. I'm gonna zoom in now. And another thing I wanted to point out, uh, the capitulation candle everybody says we had to have. There's no capitulation candle here. The capitulation was this drop to this bottom of the trend line, and then we retested it and continued up from there. Same thing's happening in Bitcoin. This, I believe, was our capitulation. This is our accumulation. We've had another touch at the bottom. 
and now we continue up from here now i'm going to zoom in a little bit and show you what's going on with those trend lines i drew from the peaks now mind you this is the last trend line here from the peaks um so actually we could draw one more in there and i'm going to do that now while i got you guys on here and that would be from this peak and this wick here so yeah maybe i believe maybe when we cross this one it will be you know the beginning of the the real bull run but as of now i do see us going up into this area possibly and let's see where that goes that matches right up at that sixty five hundred dollar range that's interesting so if we look at each one of these here guys we've gotten resistance off each line broke through tested for support move on to the next one resistance broke through tested for support next one resistance resistance broke through next one resistance resistance this is the only one we didn't get any resistance at um, it kind of blew right through that but if you look we have the my 21 ema about to cross the 200 ema right here which is really bullish in my opinion but this next line we got resistance broke through came back down tested for support and this would get us up to the 5500 dollars range here um to test this line here and we may hang out there for a little bit and then break through um and then like i said the next the next line i'm looking at is that 6500 hundred dollar range guys and i really do believe uh that's where we're headed and i don't believe like i said it doesn't mean we're going straight up we'll probably come up and you know um come back down retest and there, there'll be a lot of uh resistance in here but i do believe it's gonna get up into this area this is my opinion guys and um you know we could end up forming a big cup and handle here who knows but as the data comes in we'll keep an eye on it and we'll see what happens so again if you guys enjoyed the video please click the crypto savvy logo above my head that'll get you subscribed tip the notification bell to get you notified when i post new videos so you don't miss out on anything smash those likes guys leave your comments for the t-shirt or just leave your comments and let me know what you think of the video i really appreciate it and uh don't forget to share anyways i'm out of here i will see you tomorrow